Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hide or show specific control panel items on your Windows computer. So perhaps there are certain items you just want to remove from the clutter, or maybe you've hidden something in the past you want to re-enable it. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to have to be using Windows 10 Professional or higher because there is a registry editor method, but generally this is going to be a lot quicker. We're going to do the group policy editor method for today's tutorial, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in group policy, best result, should come back with edit group policy, go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand underneath user configuration. You want to go double click on where it says administrative templates. It should be a control panel folder under here. Just left click on that one time. And then on the right panel where it says hide specified control panel items, go ahead and double click on that. Set this to enabled. And then select the show button. At this point, you can go ahead and select this little plus button next to here. So at this point, you can go ahead and start typing in whatever name of the control panel item you do not want to show. And by clicking on this little arrow next to it, and by typing in this field, whatever name of the value you don't want to show anymore, that will appear. So you could type in sync center, for example. And let's say you just selected OK. And at some point, you want to re-enable that view. You can select show. And then you can remove this from the list by just selecting delete on your keyboard. So once you're done, you just select OK to save that. And if you ever wanted to just turn this all off all together and just re-enable everything, you can just set it to not configured. So it gives you guys plenty of options to play with there. So a pretty straightforward process. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.